Okay, so this video is about the top four money saving apps uh, going right now. The ones that I would suggest you starting uh, as a young person kind of getting into this uh, this arena. Okay, so you can see the four that I've listed there, Acorns, Capital, Digit, and Chime. Now I'm calling, I'm calling these saving apps because there's you know a saving component to them. Um, but you can invest also in some of these. Uh, you can invest in mutual funds or ETFs or or stocks in general, okay? So just be aware of that. Uh, with investing, you know, you increase the uh, the types of, you know, return you can get. You know, you can increase that, you know, but you do bring in uh, the potential for some losses there too, all right? So I'm going to talk about Acorns, Capital, Digit, and Chime here, all right? So the first one I'm talking about is Acorns. It's the one I use the, the most. It's the one I put the most money in uh, in terms of these saving apps. Uh, it's the best way to start investing, okay? Notice the key word there is investing uh, your money instead of just saving, all right? Uh, you can choose your risk level, whether you want to be really low risk or whether you want to be high risk. I think there's five different list risk levels you can choose in Acorns in terms of how your savings is going to be invested, all right? Uh, it's easy to create an Acorns account uh, on your phone. Uh, just download the app and start creating the account, Okay. Uh, the way to transfer money there or move money there is to link your checking account, any debit cards or any credit cards you have. You can link all of them. Um, and what happens is uh, you turn up on the Roundup feature on each of those accounts. And every time you use uh, one of those accounts, it's going to round up the transaction to the highest dollar or to the next dollar. And all that change that was left over gets moved over into the Acorns account, you know, once a week or so. Um, you can also uh, choose a, an amount to invest over specific time periods. If you want to invest $5 a week, $100 a month, any, any money value uh, amount over any specific amount of time that you want to do. Usually it's, it's weekly or bi-weekly or monthly or something like that, uh, but you get to set the amount. So you can increase your savings or decrease them over time depending on your situation. All right. You can also earn money in Acorns by buying products. Uh, that's one of the ways Acorns makes money is they advertise products and, and money gets invested into your account uh, when you buy those products through the Acorns app. Okay, You can also get bonuses uh, when you invite friends and family to join and they create an account. Okay, uh, The next one's Capital. Um, it kind of makes a game out of saving. It makes it fun and entertaining and, and sometimes you know young people... Uh, enjoy that a little bit more. Uh, you can link your accounts to Capital just like we talked about in Acorns. All right. Uh, what, now what happens there in Capital is you set savings goals and then you can set rules for those goals. Okay. And when you meet or when you um, achieve any of these rules uh, that you've set, uh, then Capital is going to move the money into that specific savings goal. So you can set different savings goals and let's say, you know, maybe. You know, every time you go to uh, your favorite store, you can move a dollar or five dollars uh, over into that goal in that capital account. OK, um, so each time you reach a goal based on the rules you've set, then money's going to get moved over into that account to help you save. OK, next one is Digit. All right. It's a great app for those individuals who may not have the best idea of how to start saving. OK, you download the app and link your accounts uh, just like we've done in the other two. Right. You set your savings goals, and then what Digit does is they do the rest of the work. Uh, the app has algorithms built in that studies your spending habits and understands how much money you generally have in your account, and then it, it's going to move periodically money into your Digit account. They they ensure that you, you're you not going to overdraft, so if you're concerned about that, that's you know one of the, the perks um, that they offer. They're not going to make you overdraft, but they study your habits, um, and then they move money periodically into savings when you can afford it. And finally, Chime. Chime's more like a, a bank, okay? Uh, you create a checking account and a savings account with your Chime account, and it's kind of like a one-stop uh, shop for checking and savings, okay? That way you're not going through multiple apps all the time. You've got your bank, your checking, you've got your savings, um, and it's, it's basically your bank, okay? Um, when you make purchases with your debit card, uh, kind of like Acorns, the transactions are rounded up and the money's moved over to saving. Okay, 
best thing about Chime is it's free. With the other three, there's a small fee associated with it uh, that you'll need to look into before getting started. Okay. The main thing is no matter what you do, you want to start saving and investing early. The earlier you do it, the earlier you make it a part of your, you know, your day-to-day -day life, the better off you'll be.